From the rebirth today i am so so excited i have an amazing woman friend sister i mean if you guys have been following my show the rebirth you've heard her a million times on the radio with me and she is just an amazing person she has great information and i'm so happy that we are back together today and we are going to be talking about raggedy relationship revolution yes you heard that correct raggedy relationship revolution everybody please help me welcome the beautiful miss eden adele <laughs> hey eden hey <laughs> how are you shay oh my gosh it feels like it's been forever no, i am so glad no, to be back on I this show <laughs> we had so much fun Girl, I mean, every, oh my gosh, yes. I've missed that. So I let's did. do it again. Yes, we are back, and this time people can see you. They can see you. They just not hearing you. Yeah, how about they it? Can see you, you know. So I'm so excited. I could yeah. not wait to, you know, for Sunday to come so we can talk, girl. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yes. I know my listeners Look. that have um listened in the past, they know who you are, but. For the new people, for the new listeners and the new subscribers, Miss Eden Adele is a, other than just amazing, she's a self-love and relationship advisor. Eden, please, just, I, I can't even give you all the I can Go ahead, you tell everybody about you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that would be accurate. Self-love and relationship <laughs> advisor. That's what I do because, yeah, somebody has to. Somebody <laughs> has to do it, right? And I somebody has to mm -hmm. do it because mm -hmm. folks just be needing help. Yes. Yes, they do. <laughs> and I might be one <laughs> Since they asked me, bless their hearts, <laughs> I went to work. I went to work figuring it out. And yes, oh you my have. gosh, there is so much to figure out. It is. There is so much to figure out. It is. But that, you know what, we're, it's true for everybody. It's mm -hmm. true for all of us. Mm -hmm. there, there's never a point that you get to where you can say, okay, I got this all figured out now. Yes. Because everything and everybody is always changing. Yes. So even if you're doing something that works real well right now and it makes sense right now and mm -hmm. everybody's good with it right now, something could change tomorrow. You're right. That'll make it null and void. Yeah. You're absolutely right. And you right. have to be willing to, if you're going to keep the relationship together, you have mm -hmm. to be willing to pivot and mm -hmm. make a new relationship with the person. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people get stuck because they get into, like we all do, we get into habits. Right. Humans are habitual and they get, they get all messy when you mess with their habits. Right. They don't like that. Even if they have bad habits, <laughs> if you try to show them how to create better habits, they get mad at you right. messing with their habits. Mind you, they already upset about the results they get right right exactly. they're already not happy exactly <laughs> with the results they get but the minute that you say that you have to change what they're doing mm -hmm. they they start clutching their pearls and grabbing mm -hmm. their edges and going on like what do you mean <laughs> i am that's the problem girl well that's i say you gonna need to grab your edges for this one <laughs> The real deal is mm -hmm. any changes in your relationship are always going to start with you. Yes. Always. Yes. That is so always. true. Always. Yeah. And, and, and I think the problem a, is. A lot of people. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the problem okay. is that we are so quick to blame our partners, you know, of what's going on or what's wrong and, and not really turning the focus back on us to figure out what is it that we can do different or how can we change 
the lens of, in which we see things or the perspective or whatever terminology you want to give it, it's all about just changing here first, you know? Um, Absolutely. Gandhi. Gandhi said, be the change you wish, to, you wish to see in the world, right? So it starts here. It starts with us. <laughs> but that all goes out the door every, every time. <laughs> Girl, especially if you get mad. Come on now. Right. <laughs> Tell the whole truth. If you mad about something, look, and don't be mad about something legitimate. Right. Because it is all their fault. It's yeah. like whatever they did, whatever they did. Uh huh. They just to make you mad, to dis you, whatever. Whatever they mm -hmm. did. They did it. Yeah. They're the problem. They're the ones that need fixing. Whatever's wrong with this relationship, they did it. It's them. And that's yeah. never the truth. It's not. That's never the truth, but it's what we tell ourselves. Right. Because exactly. our our egos would rather hear that. Exactly. Than to hear, you know what? I might, but I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still making it possible. I'm accepting this behavior. Yeah. The behavior is. I'm still accommodating whatever this is mm -hmm. that continues to hurt me. I'm accommodating this. Yep. It's not happening in a vacuum. We like to treat it like it is, right. but it's not. Whatever it is. Because the truth is, whatever is happening over there, So they might do it to someone else, mm -hmm. but if they're doing it to us, it's only because we're making it possible. Mm. And a lot of people like to think that because they said they didn't like it or because they had a big fight about it mm -hmm. or because somebody left for a few days or maybe a few weeks and then they came back that whatever that was, was enough to let them know they weren't going to. Every time you take them back, you let them know you're going to put up with it. Mm hmm Yeah. Because somebody who is really, I mean, really remorseful, regretful, somebody who is really seeking to change the way they do relationships, mm -hmm. they'll show you. Mm hmm They'll show you. It's like, yeah, they'll say it, but you'll see it and how they treat you. You'll see it and how they show up. You'll see it and how they take accountability for what they did. And right. you'll understand from that point that you're in a different relationship. Right. You, know, you may be with the same person. You know by the behavior that the relationship is now. You think that because you threw a tantrum, or because you somehow made their life more difficult for a few days or weeks mm -hmm. or whatever, that you you inconvenienced them enough, you hurt them enough, you made them uncomfortable enough that they won't do it anymore. Right. And that's just not the case. It's when not people are trying to get what they want from you, that's all they care about is getting what they want. They don't really care about how you feel about it. They just care that you gave so if getting you back is what they, they don't care that yeah. you kicked and cried and screamed and hollered yeah. and threw dishes and whatever you did. All they care about is they still got a key. They can still roll over in them sheets. Yeah. You don't want to. Yeah. That's what they care about. Yeah. And I'm not suggesting that some things can't be worked out because many things must be worked out if mm -hmm. you're going to last long term with anyone. Mm -hmm. But you're the one who has to decide where the line gets drawn. So if you're one of those people with leaky boundaries, you might as well say you don't have boundaries. Right. And you have already committed to being your partner's personal in the relationship. Yeah because that's how they're going to treat it. Right. If you don't respect your own boundaries, it's unfair to expect your partner to respect them. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. you're requiring them to have a level of integrity that you don't have. 
that you don't have for yourself. Yeah. And how often does that happen? A lot. I mean, really, how, yeah. how often do you see people who, who are with somebody that they can take advantage of? Mm-hmm. Somebody yeah. who will give them the world in exchange for virtually no effort at all. How right. many people do you see that actually will say, you know what, this isn't fair to you. This isn't right. I shouldn't right. be doing this. Right. I need to just go ahead, back up, walk away so you can be somebody who is actually appreciative exactly. of what you're willing to give. Exactly. How often does that happen? It, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because that people are part. very selfish. Yeah. Yeah. People are that very part. selfish. Yeah. Yeah. Because too many people get into relationships in the first place for the purpose of stroking their own ego more than figuring out what it is they can actually do to contribute and to expand and to elevate mm -hmm. the life of the person that, they, that they're with. Mm -hmm. It's like you walked into somebody else's life. Mm -hmm. there, you, there really should be a purpose for that that extends beyond the orgasm. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Eat it. All you're looking for is a good time and some wet sheets, then okay, <laughs> just be clear about that going in. Don't go in acting like you're going to be there for a whole relationship. Right. When you really just trying to get sweaty. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just saying she is straight to the point y'all just saying the <laughs> love it <laughs> about it that's all I'm saying yes just say that yes just be clear about it just Don't be up front. yeah give me yes. the option if I want to you know participate or not you know if I want to settle or not at least give me that option what you said <laughs> <laughs> what you said what you said that's all yes yes the, the truth is there are plenty of people who will accommodate all kind of stuff mm -hmm. if they just know yeah up front that that's expected from them yeah they will there yeah are plenty of people nobody look if you really have to lie to somebody to get sex you got a much bigger issue yeah. than the fact that you feel like you gotta lie because it's just not true mm -hmm. it's just not true so mm -hmm. it really is just respecting yourself enough to do what makes sense for you yeah to do what makes sense for you in a group well i'm in a lot of different groups but one of them had this <laughs> This woman was in this relationship. Mind you, this woman is over 50. Mm -hmm. That's who the group for is for people over 50. And she had been with the man for two years and he cheated on her. She decided she didn't want to see him anymore. So she broke up with him. A couple of months later, he came back and they were friends. He was talking to her every now and then, you know, because he was trying to straighten his life out and he really re regretted what he did to her. And he was seeing how wrong he was and the era of his ways and all that stuff. <laughs> and she was wearing, swearing up and down that she didn't want anything else to do with him. Uh -huh. And then she went on and on about all this other stuff that he was saying to her in other conversations. And they didn't have any children together. Okay. They didn't have any joint accounts or contracts, property, anything like that together. Mm -hmm reason just connected other than the fact that she kept answering the phone mm. and so that was what i asked her i said why do you keep answering the phone mm. if you don't want to be bothered with him if you really don't want to be bothered with him and then she hit me with a because he said he would kill himself if i did mm. he pulled one of those <laughs> he pulled that one <laughs> He pulled that one. And <laughs> people turn in suicide and that kind of stuff <clears throat> just to get your sympathy, to get you to hang on for a little bit longer. I yeah. Said, you know what? 
I don't know either one of you, but one thing that I do know is that you are only responsible for yourself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That, that's all. You are responsible for yourself. Yeah. And I also know that if he really wanted to die, he'd be dead. And there and wouldn't be anything tell you ahead of time. You or anybody else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> wow. Wow. But I mean, this is, you know, you have her, yeah, you have her story. You have so many other stories out here that are so many other stories so where people are jumping through all these hoops mm -hmm. trying to be what they think good people do, trying to be what they think loving people do. Mm -hmm in order to be in a relationship, j just jumping through all these hoops, always proving themselves, mm -hmm. you know, always trying to show how much they love this person. That's not even how happy relationships function. Mm -hmm. That's not how they function. Mm -hmm. Happy relationships are really very simple. We're the ones who complicated relationships when we started believing Disney movies over what <laughs> actually happens in a relationship. <laughs> When we started believing reality TV over <laughs> what actually makes sense. Right. <laughs> when we started relationships, relationships are not difficult. Mm -hmm. They're not difficult. They are simple. They're not easy. They're simple. They are and simple. the only reason that they're not easy is because in order to really make them work out, best for both people you got to bring your best self to it and right. most people are lazy and they right. don't want to do that right they and don't want to change and not only do you bring your best self they you don't bring want to improve of yourself. they're yes. habitual yes yes a lot of people when they go into relationships and most people don't want to do that right Right. They're looking for someone to complete them. You have to come into the relationship already complete. Yes. You know, yes. you have to come already complete. We've talked about this all the time. Oh my gosh. Yeah. 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 And all I'm these gonna... miserable people. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh my gosh, glitch. Okay, it's like you froze on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> all these miserable people looking for relationships to make them happy. Right. And then when it doesn't work. Right, exactly. Like, because that's not what relationships do. Yeah. And, and they that's don't not what make for. you happy. Mm -mm. That's not what they're for. They don't make you happy. They don't make you unhappy. Mm -hmm. Relationships are really designed to trigger you. Mm -mm trigger you that's why that's part of the reason why they do it so well activate every been ignoring every mm. overlooking, everything you've been in denial about they in some way some some point will right. bring right back up in your face exactly to deal. exactly and that's the blessing of them yeah that's the blessing of them that's really what all of our relationships are designed to do we, mm -hmm. we figure for some reason that our intimate romantic relationships are different and they're not we think that those relationships are here to make us happy and be our personal santa claus and that's not what they're here for mm -hmm. they're yeah. here to do the same thing in a way that no other relationship can because of the intimacy factor the minute right. you add sex to the equation you have elevated that relationship to another level that doesn't exist anywhere else and because of that they can trigger you also in ways that no other relationship can trigger you. Mm -hmm. That's why people are so deeply and profoundly with by intimate betrayal than they are by any other betrayal. It's the intimate effect that makes it more vulnerable. And that can be a good thing if you're actually aware of that. Mm -hmm. And you're willing to address the trigger, they get fired. Right. It's like address them, address them in a way so that when they fire off again, you mm -hmm. can actually use it in your favor instead mm -hmm. of allowing it to pull you apart. Yeah. There's a way to do that. Happy relationship all the time. 
They do it all the time. Yeah. And they are already happy people. And they're just being happy together. They're not being happy because of each other. They're being happy with each other. Mm -hmm. That's a huge distinction that a lot of people will not make. They honestly believe that it's there to make them happy. Yeah. And as long as that's your baseline assumption for why that person is in this relationship, mm -hmm. you're always going to be miserable. You'll be right. forever frustrated. You will. Because that's not why they're there. You will. Definitely. You will. Even if they could do it, they can't do it. Mm -hmm. Number one, they can't do it. Let's start there. It's not even possible that they could do it. Mm -hmm. But even if it were possible that they could do it, that's not what a relationship is for. So we go through our whole lives many times misusing our relationships, getting mad, feeling like we're the ones who've been misused. Mm -hmm. Because we refuse to. We don't change our expectations of what relationships are supposed to be. We grew up with anything and we grew up with various kinds of dysfunction and that was our blueprint. Right. But right. when we're old enough to actually take responsibility for what we it's in relationships. When we're old enough to actually do that, we don't because now we're in the habit of doing whatever it is we've been doing. Right. So we keep doing what we've been doing because we want it. Not because it's really getting us the result we want, but because that's what we've been doing. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm sorry about that. We were having some technical difficulties, but we are back. And I do apologize. Yeah, no, I do apologize for all the, uh, the freezing up. But, you know, unfortunately, this is Zoom right now, and this is how we have to work. But, okay, Edith, yeah. so go ahead and yeah. continue what you were saying. Um, you know, I know we were kind of, like, talking about, you know, being in relationships, and I think the misconception is we are too busy trying to figure out um, other things about the relationship and not really identify what it is that we're learning about ourselves from the relationship you know, um, which I think is a big thing. Who are you? Who, who are you in this relationship? Stop worrying about the other person so much and what he or she is not doing, but what, what, what are you noticing about yourself when you're in the relationship with this person? Yes. Because it's important. You yes. know, that's very yes. important. Absolutely. Pe a lot of people have this idea that the reason why whoever is in that relationship with them, mm -hmm. right? That person is there because you're so fabulous, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> that person is there because you're so amazing because you are this <laughs> off the chain, out the box, right, OMG, right. <laughs> best thing that ever fell into their universe kind of person. Right. And exactly. here's the rub. That <laughs> might be true. Uh -huh. All of that mm -hmm. might be true about you. Mm -hmm. But here's where the mistake is. The mistake is in believing that that's why they are there. Mm. They're not there because of how you see yourself. They're mm -hmm. there because of how they see you. They. That's good. Not what you mean to you. Yeah. So that's you can be good. all kinds of fabulous. You can be, you can have that kind of, self-assurance self confidence you can have all the self-confidence in the world mm -hmm. and still get your head bumped in a raggedy relationship yeah if you stay in it for too long because you being a good person isn't enough to make the other person treat you well right wow people don't treat you the way you are they treat you the way they want to treat you what you And it's also a reflection of how much you respect yourself, mm. not how much you respect your partner. Right. So it makes a huge difference that you already know coming in 
that you are whatever it is that you are and you're not waiting for your mate to decide that for you yeah like your image of yourself can't change every time your mate gets mad at you how about that that's how you get stuck jumping through hoops that's how you get in that loop that's how you stay on that hamster wheel every time they think they might be kind of or you believe they sort of you know you walking on eggshells mm -hmm. trying to be what you think is going to make them happy that's how you stay on a hamster wheel yeah and that comes from this codependency one one of the foundational principles of codependency is a fear of abandonment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as long as you're in a position that you are fearful of walking away from or fearful of losing that's how you know you're in a position of weakness and disrespect and dishonor mm -hmm. and there's nothing loving in that situation nothing there's nothing about that situation that? that's loving not even a good time yeah can, can you repeat that again because i think that is so important for people to really hear this and really understand what you just said because that's a big I mean, I see that so much just in um, the, the counseling sessions that I do with my couples. Repeat what you just said again with that, please, ma'am. <laughs> <It's like laughs> People are, you have to be in any relationship, but especially in an intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. You already have to be sure, not just sure of who you are, but you have to be okay with who you are. Yes. You have to be happy about who that person is. Yes. You have to, at the risk of sounding really cliche, you have to love yourself mm -hmm. as yourself, mm -hmm. by yourself, mm -hmm. for yourself. Yep. Because if you don't, then any time in your relationship when your partner decides that you're not this or you too much that or you don't have to be yeah. whatever it is, then you will change your own attitude about yourself mm -hmm. because of what they said to you mm -hmm. or because of what they did to you. You will change how you see yourself. And that is the point of ultimate weakness. Yeah. Ultimate weakness especially for women mm -hmm. we hear women all the time talking about taking our power back right right and the only way we we expect to get it done is to buy is by changing the way people treat us mm -hmm. changing the people around us changing something or someone other than us us exactly when the truth is the minute we get to a place where we are willing to walk away mm -hmm. from anyone or anything that dishonors us, right? That is the position of ultimate power. Yes, yes. Ultimate power. Yes. Because then nobody can manipulate you. Yep. Exactly. Nobody can have you jumping through hoops trying to prove how much you and oh my God and you <laughs> what kind of person are you and you supposed to be my ride or die and I, right. you will never get on that hamster wheel <laughs> if you understand going in to any relationship that your reason for being there is to get mm -hmm. what honors you. You're there because that relationship honors you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm you're supposed to take care of whoever it is you're with not because you're supposed to be whoever it is you're with wants you to be mm. you have to be in yourself by yourself for yourself secure locked yeah. up locked down <laughs> yeah. you have to be certain about that before you get yeah. into a relationship yeah. Otherwise, you'll get on that hamster wheel, allowing the relationship to determine your value. And that's why so many people are caught in relationships that they're miserable in mm -hmm. because they get so much of their identity from being in the relationship, especially women.
Listen, especially women. I'm a, I, I'm not even going to front about that. That was a journey long time ago that I found myself in, and you don't even you don't even realize that you you know you're in that Girl. <laughs> until you get out of it and you start to yes. learn, you know more. Yes. But just that whole yes. identity thing, you know, it was like yes. I knew something. I knew something was missing, but I couldn't under, I couldn't figure it out. I knew I was this, and I knew mm-hmm. I was that, but what was happening, you know? Yes. And once that was over and, you know, and I found who I was and, and that's where the rebirth come from, of course. And, you know, yes. I've told the story over and over again. It's really yes. about um, just birthing that new person inside of you, finding out who you are and, and being okay with that and not allowing yes. yourself to be in things that don't serve you. Don't be afraid yes. to walk away from people, yes. you know, relationships. Oh my gosh, anybody. Yeah, anybody. Anybody. Don't be afraid to do that because if it's taking your peace, it's not healthy. Yes, that's it. Not healthy. Everything, every relationship that we invite into our lives, mm-hmm. ideally, ideally, here's the ideal for a happy life. Mm-hmm. Every relationship that we invite in, some relationships we can't avoid. I get that. There are some connections that we have to make for whatever reason that cannot be avoided, understood. Mm-hmm. But we have control over the ones we invite in. Right. Right. Because they asked to be there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just because the phone rings doesn't mean you have to answer it. Right. Hello. <laughs> Yep. Just because somebody outside throwing pebbles at your window don't mean you got to go down there. (laughs) What you said. (laughs) What you said. When you get to that place, when you get to the place where you know that you know that you know that you know know. (laughs) that you are Tolerate anything yes. or anybody that upsets your peace of mind. Mm. It's yeah. a different level of living. Yeah. And it's a different level of relationship. Because no healthy, happy relationship is going to require you to sacrifice your peace of mind in order to maintain it. It's mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. how it works. That's not how it is. That's why getting caught on that whole ride or die, girl. Right. Right. Anybody trying to put you in that situation. Yeah. Is anything but loving you. Right. If I'm really loving you, if I'm really loving you, Mm -hmm. if I'm really doing that, then my first priority is what's best for you, not what feels good to me. Right, exactly, exactly. And this is, it it goes, you know- Your best interest, that. Yeah. Your best interest is always, always going to have precedence over my self-interest. Mm-hmm. If I love you, if I really love you, now if I just want you around, then I'll try to make you feel guilty about leaving me. Mm-hmm. I'll try to make you feel bad about yourself. Mm-hmm. I'll create a situation. I'll create some drama for you to have to focus <laughs> on instead of... <laughs> You know, instead of walking out the door, I right. create some problem. If yeah. there isn't any happening, I'll make some up. <laughs> Say it though. Yeah. And I'll do it all in the name of love. Yeah. I'll call it love. I said I just didn't want you to. Go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When the truth is, you didn't want them to go. 
because you've attached so much of who you are to them being there. Mm -hmm. You yeah. didn't want them to go because you were so weak and vacant mm -hmm. yourself that you needed them to have any sense of purpose or meaning or value or identity in the world. That's the real truth. It doesn't have yeah. anything to do with love. Yeah. And it doesn't have it doesn't have anything to do with love. It don't. That's because you get all warm and fuzzy when you think about them doesn't mean that you love them. Right. Exactly. It just means that you like having them around. Exactly. It means you're aroused by them. They turn you on for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. That's not the same as loving somebody. Mm-hmm. When that and while we're talking about it, I got to talk about struggle love for a minute, just for a minute. Can we talk about it for a minute? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm gonna need <laughs> Especially for my grown folks. I look. <laughs> if you're in your 20s and you still trying to figure it out, I'm gonna cut you some slack. I'm gonna <laughs> cut you some slack. Maybe even in your 30s if you were raising babies in your 20s. Right, you know, right. <laughs> babies short circuit all kinds of reason and rationale. They short circuit. <laughs> they, it just goes all out the window once you turn into somebody's mama. So <laughs> <laughs> I will give you, I'll cut you some slack. But once you get to 40, mm -hmm. 40. Everybody that you meet or everybody that you put yourself into a relationship with is on their way back up, trying to get out, trying, working on it. And oh my God, well, you know, this is what happened before. And now I'm broken. Mm -hmm. Now I'm depressed. And now mm -hmm. you, and you know, the man is against me. And all, if, if that's where you live in, yeah. it's not because... Here, this is important. It's not because there are no good men. Mm -hmm. Not it. It's not because men ain't filling the blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fill in the blank with whatever you want right. to fill in. Fill in <laughs> okay? Here's why it is. Here's the real reason why it is. It's because those are the men that you keep choosing. Mm. Mm. They aren't the only man available to choose. They're just the ones you keep choosing. Yes. And you keep choosing them because, once again, <sighs> we are creatures of habit. If your habit is to be relationship, then when you get out of one unhealthy, toxic relationship, you will create another one. Not because you want to be unhealthy or unhappy, right. but because that is your habit. Right. And if you are unwilling to create a different habit, you will continue to recreate the familiar mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. People are not attracted to what's good for them. They are attracted to what's familiar to them. Yes. That's why yes. when people start talking about you only attract who you are, no, you attract what's attracted to you. Uh -huh. You attract all kinds of stuff that doesn't have anything to do with who you are. People mm. find all kinds of reasons to be attracted to you that don't have anything to do with who you are. Mm -hmm. People that don't even know you can find reasons to be attracted to you. That's true. That is it's very not true. about you attracting who you are. Yeah. You attract what's attracted to you, but you select what you expect. Mm. Woo! That was a truth bomb right there. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. That's you how you stay you on like. the hamster wheel. Mm. And you're still trying to look at, trying to find different results, and that's not happening. Yes. I want a good man. I want to wow. do, and you might. Yeah. But, but there are a whole lot of considerations that go along with wanting a good man that you haven't taken care of. You haven't addressed that yet. Because you haven't addressed your habits. If your whole relationship history is full of Pookie and Rayway, and all of a sudden you want to you want to shift over to Marcus, mm -hmm. that Marcus. 
That's a change in you. Right, right. That's a change in you. Because here's the deal. No matter how you, how amazing you think you might be, and you might be right. Mm-hmm. You might even be right. But here's the rub. If you're not what Marcus is looking for, you're not going to be right for Marcus. Right, right, right. Yeah. If Marcus is attracted to from what you are, even if that person is crazy, toxic, whatever, to Marcus, if that's what Marcus wants, that's where Marcus is going to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Marcus is the one who determines that, though. Right. Not you. And that's why it's important for you to be comfortable with who you are, whether there is a Marcus or not. Exactly. Because if it's not Marcus, it'll be somebody else. Right, right. Just yeah. because it's not Marcus doesn't mean it's over. Right. It just means it's not Marcus. <laughs> it's not Marcus. We have to learn to make that distinction. Just because it's not whoever we think we want it to be doesn't mean mm-hmm. that it won't be anyone. Mm-hmm. It just means that it's not them. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't make them bad. It doesn't make them wrong. It doesn't make them crazy. It doesn't make them any of that because they don't have to be any of that in order not to be right for you. It's just not compatible. Yeah. And the truth is, us. You said the truth is what you you kind of that's broke. something else. Uh. <laughs> that's something else that people don't want to accept. Mm-hmm. The two are totally incompatible with us. Yeah, they're incompatible to share our lives with us anyway. They yeah. might make great dates, but they don't make great mates. That's true. That's true. Those are two different relationships. Yeah, that's true. That's very so true. If If we meet two, maybe three people in our whole lives that are compatible to share our life with us, that's generous. Mm -hmm. But we're attracted to a bunch of them. If we go on a one day every week, just a one day every week for Mm. a year, Mm. right? If Mm. we do that, we go on a date with a different different person every week one day just one day for a year that's every, 52 people every 50 oh, people. every week every, every week. week okay every Ooh. week right that's 52 people now we're going on dates with these people because we're attracted to something about them mm-hmm. that's the only reason we're going on these dates there's something about them that we're drawn to we go on these dates at the end of the year, we might even decide that we want to marry one of them. Mm. Hypothetical, obviously, because we've only been on one date, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But let's say there's somebody that just stood out like that. And you're like, you know what? I think I want to pursue a real relationship with this one. This one may be the one I can actually share my life with. Mm-hmm. Where does that leave the other 51? You are attracted to all of them. Hmm. All of them had something about them that made you all wiggly inside when you saw (laughs) they gave you the feels that whatever it was, there was something about every one of them that you were attracted to. But attraction and compatibility are two entirely different subjects. Yeah. Yeah. And we're attracted to a whole lot of people that we aren't compatible with. Yeah. Ah. Most people that we're attracted to, we are not compatible with. Even the ones we make relationships with. That's why we have so many more breakups than we do relationships. Because the people that come into our lives aren't compatible to last. They come through, but they're all temporary. All of our relationships are temporary. Mm-hmm. We are our only permanent relationship. The That's relationship you have with you is your only mm-hmm. permanent relationship. Yeah. Everybody else in your life is passing through. 
everybody, parents, children, spouses, friends, siblings, everybody is passing through. Some are short-term temporary, others are long-term temporary. Mm -hmm. Most are somewhere in the middle. Most are somewhere in the middle. Yeah. But we have forever expectations for temporary situations, and then we get mad about it. And it's not the situation's fault. It's our expectations that are Ooh. that need to be adjusted. Those expectations, girl, honey. <laughs> we feel so entitled to the way we expect stuff to be that you just better be ready to fight when you're trying to tell me that what I expect is right. unreasonable. Exactly. Exactly. Like, uh, excuse you, but yeah. <laughs> I am the prize here, and yeah. everything that I expect is exactly as it's going to be. Exactly. And if it's not, then it's going to be some <laughs> consequences and repercussions in this building. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm just saying. For sure. That's for sure. what we believe. Yeah. And yeah. we think that the way we learned how to do relationships in high school is the way relationships are supposed to be done. Yeah. And when you talk to somebody in their 40s and 50s, they are still trying to do relationships the way they did them in high school and college. Mm. Mm. And wow. getting mad because it's not working. It's not working. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Now, so you have some tips that I actually, I have pulled up. I don't know if you have them in front of you. Um, I don't, but okay. let's do them. I, I, I read them off and, and we can, um, okay. like, you can kind of hit, hit on it a little bit. Um, okay. So there's, there's three, I mean, not three, there's five tips that, that you have that you came up with. And again, we're talking about um, raggedy relationship revolution. <laughs> <laughs> yes it's time to get so, in on it let's get in on it, that apply it so tip number one you said the best way to get what you want from your mate is to be with someone who actually wants to share that with you and that sounds so simple it, it sounds so simple give me something behind that what what, what are we saying here <laughs> It really is that simple. That's what I'm trying to get people to understand. It's like people get into these relationships, right? Mm -hmm. And they decide that they there's somebody, whoever it is they're attracted to is what they want. Mm. What they really want is their idea of what the relationship is going to be like. That's what they really want. It doesn't have anything right. to do with that person. Yeah. yeah. It's They've just assigned it to that person because they like what they see. They like what they mm -hmm. hear, whatever it is they're drawn to. Whatever they want is what they want. Mm. They've just assigned it to that person. Yeah. So they associate what they want with that person. With that person. That makes sense. It's not really that person that they want. Right. It's what's in here that they want. Right. Mm. And if... The only way they're actually going to get what's in here <laughs> is if what's over there already matches it. Mm. If we think being in a relationship is about turning them into that, we think being in a relationship is about manipulating them into being right. this. Right, right. And if I do it right, if I do it well, then we'll, we will be happy because I'm getting this yep. from the person that I want it from. Mm -hmm. Here's the real truth of how to get this. That has to already be this. Mm -hmm. If you have to jump through hoops and chicken wing and <laughs> you know <laughs> and cry and fit and scream and tantrum yeah. and all that to get them to do what you want in here wow that's that's major you'll never get it because that's, it won't stick uh, that's major. it only sticks it's when that's who they are not when they're trying to please you yeah if they're doing what they're doing because they're trying to please you it won't stick 
Yeah. And that's why you have to keep redoing it. But yeah. if it's who they are, you'll always have it. Yeah. You'll Woo! always have it because it's who they are. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, okay. Let me move right along. We got like 10 more minutes and then we got up. Uh, oh. So, you know, we're going to be coming back. Be coming back. Okay. Yes. Let's do okay. it. So, number two, giving your mate whatever they want from you will not make them happy and they will keep asking for more. And I think you kind of touched on that. You know? Yeah, that's hoop jumping. Yeah, yeah. That's hoop jumping. Yeah, that's the hoop jump. Yeah. So giving your mate whatever they want from you will not make them happy and they will keep asking for more. Okay. All right. So that was tip number two. Tip number three. Healthy relationships also make sense. <laughs> it's like, have you ever heard somebody say to you, you just don't understand? Yeah. They're different when they're with me. Yeah. Ooh. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Ooh. <laughs> no, they're not. Ooh. Yeah. If they're different with you and they act a zip damn fool with everybody else, that's not wow. because there's something magical about you. Wow. That's not what it is. That's because they're trying to get something from you that they want. And they figured out how to manipulate you into it. It's not that nobody understands them. It's wow. like that's a, that's a good way to get trapped is believing Girl. that you're the only one who understands Girl. them. Girl, Girl, you are <laughs> preaching, and it is a Sunday. To we the need to people bring who up care that. about you. <laughs> it makes sense. I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm <laughs> if you can see what is going through my head right now. Oh I'm just goodness. saying, if you're hiding your relationship from people who actually yeah. care about you. Yes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Like, okay. how many of us do that? Yeah. We hide our relationships from the people who care most about us. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's true. Like, if that's not the biggest red flag, I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, tip number four. There is no self-love without self-awareness, self-discipline, and self-acceptance. Yes. I mean, that says it, that says it all. There is no self, absolutely. If you don't have the self-discipline, the awareness, the acceptance, you don't have self-love. Absolutely. That's a, I want to say that's a no-brainer, but unfortunately, it's not. It's not to a lot of people. So that's a, good, that's a good one. It's, <sighs> it's true. People don't want it. To, at the end of the day, you have to take responsibility for your own peace yeah. of mind. Yeah. You're the one who creates your peace of mind. And if there's anything or anyone in your world that's upsetting that, mm -hmm. it's because in some way you have allowed it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yep. Unless you're willing to cut that off then you yeah. forfeit the right to complain. You cannot complain about what you allow. Yeah, so true, so true. Amen to that one, wow. Okay, last one, number five. If you're not having the relationship you want, the best way to get it is to change how you're thinking and what you are doing, simple. You have to be Simple. willing to make new yeah. habits. Yep. If That's unhappy true. relationships are your habit, mm -hmm. then you have to be willing to make new habits yep. in order to have a happy relationship. relationship. Because Absolutely. you're not used to it. Yeah. Not because you don't want it, just because you're not used to it. Yeah. Yeah. You know how to be in an unhappy relationship. You have to create a new person to be in a happy one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So when you're willing to do that, then a happy relationship is actually possible it for you. It will happen. But not yeah. until then. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely you right. You have to do something different. You have to you're be someone right. different. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta make a new habit. Wow. You have to. But you can. You don't have to break the old habits. Let's be clear. You yeah. have to make new habits. Mm -hmm. Old habits don't get broken. You don't unlearn anything. There's right, no right, right, right. 
Right. <laughs> you right. Know, there's no amnesia going on here. Yeah. It's just making a decision to go in another direction. Yeah. And we all have that capability. Any of us can do it at any time. Absolutely. Yeah. We just have to be it. willing to be uncomfortable for a little while first. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Oh, and Eden, you are so amazing. You are, I mean, I just love, I love talking to you. Um, guys, I would suggest follow Eden. Um, she is Get Back to Passion on all social medias, right? Okay. Yes. So that's Get Back yes. to Passion on all yes. social medias. She's a self-love yes. and relationship advisor. And make sure yes. you um, follow her email. Get on her email list at getbacktopassion.com. And that's where you can yes. actually download a free, I said free, yes. self-love yes. yes. checklist. So yes. go there immediately, getbacktopassion.com, yes. download yes. a free self-love checklist. And I promise you, yes. you will not be disappointed. Eden, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I mean, you're just amazing. I love talking to you. Thank you. And you will be coming back, right? You will be coming back. We're going to be having more conversations and all of that. And hopefully, you know, our connection will be a little bit better here. I know we've been. Absolutely. Yeah. But we made it work. (laughs) We made made it it work. work. Yes. So thank you again so much. I appreciate you. I really do. And I thank everybody for watching this and make sure that you follow me um, on Rebirth. Again, rebirthyou.com is the website and you can also follow me on Facebook. And again, Mm -hmm. go to getbacktopassion.com and make sure you do that download. Thank you again, Rebirthers. And until then, have a blessed rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you, Eden.